I couldn't sleep. It was like a uh, child without water. I just kept drinking and drinking. I needed to know more, not only about the issue of climate, but uh, what could I do? I'm a pediatrician. I work with kids that are very ill. There's that love, there's that concern, there's that responsibility, and there's that desire to shelter that is... Uh, sometimes it pains you as a parent. So when it comes to something with climate, it's like... It just moves me. It will compromise the health of the population of the world. Period. There is clear-cut data in the medical literature. It's not my opinion, it's fact. How do I protect the kids? My first training was in 2006. And after that, I started mentoring. What Climate Reality Project is doing is bringing people from all backgrounds and sharing the message in our own voices and with our own story. I discovered that the health issue was neglected in the climate initiative. It just became my driving force. Polar bears are cute, but again, it's humans. At the end of the day, it's humans. As a mother, I can talk to other mothers and share my knowledge about climate so that we create networks. As a teacher, I can talk to other teachers so that they can transfer that information to the kids. The point is that if one person screams, it will not be the same as a group singing in harmony. I think that leadership is about hope. You see, and we, we cannot see the sun here, even though it's a sunrise. But uh, it's there, you know, the sun is, is out. That's uh, the meaning of hope. No matter what, it's there.